Okay, guys, uh, I am going to go through and show you just a quick, simple PayPal setup here. So if you need uh, a uh, if you need to set up a new PayPal account, um, these are the steps. Okay, so um, PayPal is going to change all the time. They're going to change their look. They're going to change um, the the look of the screen. That's what happens with internet businesses. They're constantly changing. So it, when you watch this later after I record it here, it may not look the same as this. You might not have a sign up now button down here. It might be a blue one up over here or something up here or but somewhere there will be a sign up or register button. Okay, and so you click on that right here, and that's going to get you started with the process. Okay, so the next page is going to say, well, hey, PayPal's a, a secure, easy way to pay and get paid. Sign up free. Do you want a personal account or a business account? Well, we recommend doing a business account for uh, eBay. You'll be able to um, do better with your payments and everything. So set up a business account, even if you don't have a legal business name yet. You can uh, update that later, or you could do a personal account and then do a business account, you know, upgrade to it. But you can update or change that information uh, at a later time if you need to. Okay. So, business account, click next. Now, they're going to have all these options here. We don't want any of these. Uh, we don't need pro. We don't need to pay for it. Uh, all we need is uh, the basic. We don't need the express checkout. Payment standard is sufficient. Um, that's uh, that's all that we need, okay? And so you're going to come down and select that payment standard option. Now again, they may change the name of this. They used to have a, a personal premier and business before, and now that's no longer the case. Now it's just personal business and then these options. Um, but the standard payments option is is good, so we select that, okay? And then we go next, and they're going to ask for an email address. Um, and then your business information, and I was afraid of this, but uh, I don't really need another account right now, but uh, we'll do that and continue. And then they want uh, you to do a, a password, and they're telling you, hey, it has to be at least eight characters, enter at least one number or symbol like this. So you have to do something like that. So. So you create your password, make a note of it, and then you're going to put in your name, enter the first name of the primary business contact for this account. So that's you. So that's going to be Mike, last name, put in your last name, legal business name. So this business name must be identical to the name on the company's articles of incorporation. Don't use a trade name or a shorter version of your business name. So you are going to need to, to have something uh, they're legally, you know, so again, I, I believe you can update this at a later time. Um, I wonder if I can check that real quick. Let me uh, look at my PayPal account here and see what it, uh, what the options are. Be right back. Okay, so yes, indeed, you can change it. You can come in here to your profile and go to profile and settings and then uh, your business uh, um, name and settings and you can actually come in here and click edit um, and change and then they're going to ask why you're changing it you can say you've legally changed your business name so you can put anything in there as you start and then once you actually legally register it you can come in here and change it okay so that shouldn't be a problem and then uh, any of that can be updated at, at a later date like you can see here I don't even have a logo yet I can go in and you know put my logo in there so that's something that uh, uh, I want to put in, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we don't need that uh, for this video, so I'll pause here. Okay, so we know that it can be updated, so uh, put in um, whatever you want to. Mickey's Playhouse. <laughs> um, business address, uh, phone number, street address, uh, city, state. So you're going to select all of that and uh, set that up. What I'm trying to get to here is just to find the page um, of, yes, I agree to the document that I'm not going to read. 
I'm just trying to get to the page uh, where I can show you what you know the type of business uh, entity and stuff. And we'll see if we can get those options here. So you fill all that out and agree and create account. And security challenge. Yeah, I'm not a robot. <laughs> all right. Um, tell us about your business. Business type. Okay, so um, you could just start here. Individual sole proprietorship. So you set that up. Now they're going to say, well, what's your business category? Uh, uh, and I would say, let's just try a retail, not elsewhere classified, business subcategory, um, variety store whatever it doesn't matter it, it does it really doesn't matter this is not legal stuff here okay guys this is just um for their statistics basically um estimate your monthly sales we'll just put it at the lowest for now um so they're not expecting high sales and reporting something to the government or you know anything like that anytime you're you're estimating stuff when it's related to a, a business setup or taxes go the lowest you can <laughs> okay uh, there's there's no need to put it big. And then uh, URL, if applicable, we're going to leave that blank. We don't need it. And then you continue. Okay. Um, and that's that should be it to set up your account for PayPal. So uh, that'll get you started there. Uh, if you uh, run into any other questions along the way or uh, or need help with it, send me an email, and I'll be happy to uh, help you out further.